We're so lucky to get tickets to tonight's show at the Canard Rouge. All of Paris is here to see the great Claudine Pillay. Order, s'il vous plaît. Oh, yes, I'll have some tea, please. I'll have the same. Oh, and a chocolate eclair. It's just too bad that Claudine's grandmother, Lily, couldn't be here. She is rather frail these days. Marvelous. Just look at how they all flutter their feathers at exactly the same time. In her day, Lily Pillay was the toast of Paris, a superb singer and a divine dancer. Mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue to the Canard Rouge. Tonight we have for you a special treat. Claudine Pillay will be performing her grandmother Lily Pillay's famous dances in her original costumes. Ah, it's so nice to have a relaxing night on the town. No mysteries to solve, no crooks to chase after. Part of the act. Claudine's been ducknapped. Leave it alone. Uh, Madame, eh, Monsieur, uh, Claudine will be right back. In the meantime, uh, let us all give a big hand to the lovely Canard Rouge <laughs> Can Can dancers. Get out there and dance. Come, Willard. We must investigate at once. Shouldn't we pay for our tea first? We haven't been served yet. Hmm. How did you get backstage? Where is that security guard? Gerard! Gerard Tatton! Monsieur Carrot, we can't. We can't keep this up. We need another dancer. I've never danced the can-can before. Just bend your knees and kick. Did you see what happened to Claudine? Oui. A duck in a black mask swoop down on the rope and take her up. There. Willard. This has been most lovely. Oh, but um, I wonder if you could somehow... Oh, get me discreetly off stage. Any word when the police will arrive to investigate Claudine's duck napping? Police? That's the security guard's responsibility, not mine. Gerard! And just where have you been during all this horror? I saw the duck napper escaping over the roof. I tried to catch him. Was he alone, or did he have Claudine? Willard! Claudine! Finalement! There you are! I'll have to do your introduction all over again! You'll be all in two minutes. Mademoiselle Pillay has been through enough tonight. She needs her rest. Bien. Uh, I am not a reasonable man. <laughs> About three minutes? Four? <laughs> Where did you 
you get that flower? I didn't see you on stage with it. My hero. Oui, Lord gave it to me. I, uh, didn't give you that flower, Claudine. It's the Ducknapper's calling card. He's known as the Red Carnation. Well, well. It looks like the Red Carnation has had a busy night. Who is this Carnation you talk of? The Red Carnation. Master thief. Goes only for jewels. He's thumbed his beak at police the world over, daring them to catch him. But he's never had to deal with Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police. But what could he want from me? I have no jewels here. Oh, but your grandmother may have. I think I have some clippings here that might lead to a clue. Lily Pillay was courted by royalty from around the world. Princes, dukes, counts. A Maharaja was said to have showered her with diamonds, rubies, and emeralds. Everyone in Paris, particularly the jewel thieves, wondered whatever happened to those precious stones. You are very lucky, Gerard Tatorn, that I don't throw you out right now. But, Monsieur Carotte, I tried to catch him. It is obvious the thief was looking for something among the suitcases in this room. Are they all here, Claudine? Yes. <gasps> I mean, no. All except the one I packed to have ready when I go see Grandmama in Orléans next week. It had the one original costume that was too old and fragile to wear. This rain of light dress is only a copy, I'm afraid. And where's that suitcase now? Marie, one of our dancers checked it at the Gare de Lyon where I take the train to Grandmama's. Poor Marie has a sprained flipper. She's coming by after their show with the baggage claim ticket. This is terrible. Shall I call the police? What? You didn't call after Claudine was ducknapped? Whoops. Something doesn't fit. If the Red Carnation duck-napped Claudine just as she got on stage, how could he also have had time to turn her dressing room upside down? Maybe he did it while I was in the wings waiting to go on stage. Where is Marie now? I think she said she was going to the market near Notre Dame. Surely you have had enough rest by now, Claudine. I'll go back on stage and uh, do your intro... Uh, <laughs> Maybe there's an accomplice. Marie is not in any danger, is she? Not if Willard and I can find her. I'd better stay here to keep an eye on Monsieur Carat. Did you notice how he didn't even flutter a feather when he saw the state of your dressing room? Oh, please, Willard. Oh, Marie with her limp little flipper. I'll be all right on my own, but she needs someone brave like you to protect her. Well, if you put it that way... Come, Willard. Whoa. We'd best take a taxi. Oh, Auntie, you know how hard it is finding a taxi in Paris. There's a metro station right next to the Notre Dame. I've alerted the police, and I thought you might want a taxi, so I ordered one for you. It's waiting outside the door. That was good of you. Thank you. Just doing my job. This will ruin me. Say, Gerard, keep an eye on Monsieur Carat while I'm gone, will you? Notre Dame Cathedral, s'il vous plaît. And step on it. So why the devil do you think the Red Carnation is so interested in Claudine's grandmother's old costumes? Maybe he's after something else in the suitcase, Willard. Notre Dame. 20 francs, 70 livres. That was cheap. Only 20 francs. Everyone in Paris is in such a hurry. Now, it shouldn't be too hard to find a lame duck. Let's split up. You check that side. <gasps> and act natural. I believe we're being followed. I'll take a dozen of those and... Half a dozen of those. What? Oh, what? Oh, dreadfully sorry, mademoiselle. I... Marie? And how do you know my name? I've been searching all over Paris for you. You have a sprained flipper. Don't think I haven't heard that one before, monsieur. 
Carnation, international jewel thief, and this is my nephew, Willard Widgeon. Of the Swiss police. <laughs> oh, and may I present my auntie, Miss Mallard. The world famous detective? But what could this red carnation want from me? He wants the claim ticket for Claudine's suitcase. This little thing? Willard, take Marie back to the Canal Rouge. Uh, then you and Claudine meet me at the Gare de Lyon station with my knitting bag in one of her costume suitcases. And what about me? You've had quite enough excitement for today. Uh, why don't you just put your flipper up and rest? I'm a bit worried about leaving you here all alone, Auntie. What with that red carnation still on the loose? Don't worry about me, Willard. Uh, you'll have your wings full escorting Marie and then Claudine. And I've got to keep my eye on that Monsieur Carrot. <gasps> what does Monsieur Carrot have to do with this? I'm not sure, but he's acting very suspicious. Now make sure you and Claudine are followed on your way to the train station. Huh? And I'll keep my eye on the red carnation. Bye! Have a safe trip! all the time. But the show must go on. Your grandmother would never let such a thing... Oh, Marie, you are saying... Oh. Uh -huh. Yes, but we had a run-in with a crazy duck, completely fou, a red carnation. And Willard saved you. Well, actually, he saved me from the red carnation, too. Well... He's never had to deal with Willard Widgeon of the Swiss police before. Willard! You like to knit, too! Claudine, get your coat. We have an important rendezvous. I'll explain everything on the way. We can sneak out? No, we want to be followed. We do? Oh, how exciting! I don't believe this. Duh. Marjorie Mallard, you can now say that you have done everything. You can say you have even been into the sewers of Paris. Perhaps the red carnation isn't quite as red anymore. I don't believe this. To the Gare de Lyon, please. She got away. She's going to the train station with a ticket. I'll take the taxi there. But where are we going? We're off to the Gare de Lyon. 
Excuse me, Gerard. Could you please get us a taxi? One moment, please. Wait outside, and one will be there for you in about ten minutes. Come to the Gare de Lyon. We've got to get that suitcase. I don't see anyone following us. Excuse me, we're not in a hurry. Uh, how about taking us by the scenic route? Rush, rush, rush. He got us here so fast, no one could have followed us. Don't worry. I'm certain we were both followed. She thinks she's so smart. They're going for the old switcheroo. Just remember, Mallard's got the ticket for the suitcase we want. Hugh, where have you been? Don't ask. Now, I'll go claim the suitcase from the baggage counter, and Claudine, you meet me in the center of the station with the other suitcase. Ah. Uh, Willard, you keep a lookout for danger. Mallard's got the stuff. Watch carefully. Here it comes. There's the switch. Claudine's got it now. I'll take her. You create a diversion. Wait a minute. They're switching again. Mallard's got it. No, Claudine. Mallard. Claudine. Nah, I don't know who's got it. We'll grab them both. Help! Save! Au What is going on? These thieves tried to steal our suitcases. A simple misunderstanding, officer. This lady mistook my suitcase for hers. And she for mine. Then perhaps you can tell me what is in your suitcase. Well, yes, it has a... Um, it has a... Um... I happen to know that it contains my knitting bag. And that one has my dress. Mine has a knitting bag, too. Now, how did you know I like to knit? You say address. Well, so does mine. A little gift for my wife. <laughs> you see, tomorrow's our wedding anniversary. So, you are sure there is a knitting bag in that one and a dress in this one? Mm hmm. Hold them out so I can open them. Oh, dear. I think I may have made a mistake. My knitting bag is in that suitcase. Silly, silly me. Of course, my dress is in that one. Eh bien, it looks like you ladies are right. Good work. Now, is everybody ready to see the true identity of the notorious threat carnation? Philippe Souchet, our new waiter. You never did bring me my tea. Nor my eclair. Now, officer, if you'll just remove that duck's hat and sunglasses, you'll find his partner in crime, Monsieur Carrot. Gérard, the security guard. Huh? But why? Why are you after my grandmother's old costume? Yes, why indeed? But then the reign of light is no ordinary costume, is it, Red Carnation? These are real jewels. That Maharaja must have had quite a crush on your grandmother, dear. And you were quite clever to finally figure out where they were hidden. Often the best place to hide something is the most obvious. Like on a stage costume seen by hundreds of people every night. When the Red Carnation heard that Claudine was to perform Lily's dances in her original costumes, he sought a partner to get him a job at the Canard Rouge. The plan was simple. He would duck nap Claudine and snatch the jewels. But Claudine's dress was only a copy made with fake jewels. The Red Carnation wanted all bases covered. While he was checking the costume that Claudine was wearing, Gerard checked the costumes in the dressing room for the jewels. Neither found what they were looking for. Then Gerard overheard Claudine tell us about the costume in the suitcase that she had Marie check at the Gare de Lyon. Gerard said he was going to call the police, but he called the Red Carnation instead. He never did call the police. And how did Gerard know that the Red Carnation fled over the rooftops when Willard was the only one to see him escape? You 
you should be careful with those feather boas. They shed if you toss them about. When Gerard overheard us talking about Marie and the baggage claim ticket, he couldn't wait to contact the Red Carnation, who wouldn't make much of a living driving a taxi. From the Canal Rouge to Notre Dame is at least an 80 franc fare, not the 20 francs that he charged us. Nor would he do very well as a waiter if he ignores his customers' orders. Willard, meanwhile, pretended to suspect Monsieur Carotte, which gave the Red Carnation and Gerard the confidence to continue with their plans. Congratulations, you two. Brilliant detective work. The Red Carnation has been bedeviling us for years. Now it's up to the station for wing prints. Willard, you caught the nasty red carnation. And you're so clever. Even I believe you suspected Monsieur Carotte. Well, actually, I um, did suspect him. And uh, if it weren't for my auntie... Uh... Oh, you are so modest. Well, I, I don't like to brag, but I've often been told that I'm the most modest inspector on the whole Swiss police force. Now, Willard, let's not get too modest. You must all come see me at the Canard Rouge tomorrow night. Your chocolate teclair, monsieur. Oh, Willard, you look so handsome in this picture. 